and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about buggies and buggies that we have found or that I have loved since having kids. Now I have a little obsession with buying and selling buggies. I've been through so many buggies after having kids and my top three favourites that I've found so far are behind me. I'm going to talk about the Bugaboo Sahara. Now I love the chameleon. Um, I've had the chameleon with all of my kids and this is the limited edition Sahara. Now I really, really love this buggy and it's the only one that I've actually held on to for the last two pregnancies, I think. I really love this. It's got the leather handlebar. It's so easy and glidable. The hood has all the padded part in it. I don't think you can get this anymore. This limited edition, but they're all roughly the same. Um, but I love the leather handlebar. It's got the extra padding inside. And as a baby bassinet part, I really, really like this one. Um, it's so easy. The only thing is when you have more than one child, I have found that it's really a pain in the backside because it comes apart in... I'm gonna go like this because it comes apart like this and then you can fold down the wheels it comes apart in a two piece and that's kind of awkward to fit in a car when you have a toddler and a newborn when you have one child it's fine it's easy but when you have two kids it gets a little bit more complicated and if you have any more forget about it you want something that's quick and easy and folds up and down really fast that's the only downfall but as a first baby or a newborn I really love this stage and if you can put the baby in the pram when you leave your house and you don't need to get into a car the whole time in and out I really recommend the comedian it's just oh my ovaries are even jumping right now looking at this wanting another baby it is just I love love there's nothing I fault in this buggy except how big it is um, but it's absolutely gorgeous and if you're walking with it it's just so lovely okay that's the bugaboo chameleon anyway Next, I'm gonna to talk to you about a double buggy. Now, I have had the Bugaboo Donkey as a double buggy, and again, that is an absolute nightmare. It's a disaster, because you have to take apart two separate seats, you have two separate rain covers when you're putting on, you have a big bulky base. It's a nightmare to get two kids in and out of and in and out of a car. It's just, it's no go. And I have also had friends who've had the um, front to back ones, like, the eye candy or the city select and they are so heavy to get up and down off paths I don't recommend them this is the out and about and it is the double buggy and I really as a double stroller it is just it is so lightweight and compact it fits through a doorway which is the most amazing part because you can push it put the two kids in inside and push them straight out the door if it's through a whatever the standard size door is it is so lightweight and adjustable it actually falls quite um slim line for a double buggy these this is the version of four i think the v4 is the newest version um it just means the newer version has two separate hoods that you pull down i think that's basically it I can't remember what else it has, but um, it's so lightweight and the kids can jump in and out. I really like it as a double buggy. You can't go wrong. It's perfect. And because I have such a big hood, um, I usually stack everything for the beach up on top of it and off you go for the day. It's brilliant. I love it. Um, it's got two little uh, baskets underneath each seat that you can store stuff in. Now, I know the basket that comes actually underneath it is all separate. You have to buy that extra. I can't remember how much it is, but I didn't ever bother with that. Um, but as a double buggy, lightweight stroller, it's the best one I've found as a double, if you're looking for a good double. I think this is, it's normally, at, in Tony Keeley's, this is 615 euros, but at the moment it is on sale for 499 euros, if I'm right. I think that's what this is at the moment. Now, my creme de la creme, my favourite buggy of all time is the Bugaboo Bee. I have had the Bugaboo Bee, I have sold the Bugaboo Bee, and I bought back the Bugaboo Bee. Now, this is the B5, it is the latest edition Bugaboo Bee that they have out at the moment. And as a lightweight single buggy, it is the best one on the market. And I actually fit two kids in this all the time. Um, the new Bugaboo B, the B5, has the extra extendable hood, which is really handy for a sun canopy. The best thing about the B5 compared to the other ones is it has a five point safety harness, which means, I don't know if you can see this, 
it has one big button in the middle that you press and click and all the straps come out which is so easy because the worst thing about bugaboo has to be their safety straps in the comedian on the toddler seat they have one strap that comes around each arm and clips in and they are so annoying but this one is really easy to put in and um, the best thing about this buggy the newest thing about it is the straps it has to be the best they also have the handlebars they have an extra padding foam on the handlebars which I really like. Um, not needed, but it's, it's a really nice feature. The only other thing about the B5 compared to the B3, they skipped the B4 for some reason, the B3 seat was a lot more padded, which I thought was really nice. The B5 one is actually less padded. It's still comfy and works 100% and is gorgeous and slimline and I love it, but it's actually less padded than the B3. Uh, what else? The best thing about this is when you have multiple children, you can click it and fold it. That was a really bad example, but with one hand and it is lightweight and it goes in your boot perfectly. And with more than one child, the easiest thing everybody wants to do is put a buggy up with one click. Um, so as a single buggy, or with a toddler and a newborn, I really recommend this. Most things what I do now is I have this buggy, which I don't think I'll ever sell again, and I will have a sling, a ring sling for a newborn, and I will always carry my newborn on me. I found it's the safest. Um, with other multiple children, always wanting to carry and touch and be at and pick up the newborn. If you have a newborn tied to you, they sleep all the time, and you can put the toddler in the buggy and run around after whoever else you have. So I love this. There's a big, huge basket underneath it. You can also turn the seat forward and back. So the best, best, best pram I have ever had is the Bugaboo Bee. I am completely besotted with this buggy. I love it. What else? What other buggies have I had? I've had the Chameleon, the Donkey, the Out and About. I remember you had like a black... One yeah, I had a black out and about and I sold it and I bought a purple one back. What else did I have? I think I, I remember, but I forgot the name of it. Did you? Okay. Uh, so, that's my reviews. I'm going to give you a close-up now of the B so you can see what I'm talking about with the... Hang on. Mommy, you had one of these buggies. You had like one of these buggies like, and then you could be in only in one seat you could take one of the seats out that's the buggy you had yeah i remember thanks livia no you could take two of the seats out and then that's the buggy well done thanks so this is the b talk about that buggy this is the b5 and this is the way the clips go this is the bit i love hold this for a sec okay now keep it really still. Can you keep it really still? Oh my gosh, this is hard. This is the, my favourite part of the B5. Out of all the bugaboos, I think it's the only one that has this. And with one clip, it's open again. This is my favourite part of the whole B5. And they have a massive basket. We have a hairbrush underneath. And you can change the seat from front to back. My favourite buggy of all time is the Bugaboo B. Um, this yeah. is a close-up of the out and about. Two hoods go straight back. The seats, they lie fully back. They come nice and padded. They're padded enough. For a newborn, they're a little bit loose. Um, they have a really big crotch strap. The bar is nice, but I usually forget to bring it with me and put it on. Anyway, that's the really lightweight stroller and my favorite for a big bassinet for a newborn. They do, they have loads of storage. Thanks. That's my favorite. Part. It's the inside padded of the of the chameleon. I love this. Anyway, for a newborn, it's perfect. It's gorgeous, but it's a pain when you're getting in and out of the cars. Anyway, that's the three prams. That's my review. Um, don't know what else to say. The B five. How much is the or? How much is the B5 now? I think I bought it for 600 and something euros when it came out first. Oh, sorry. I'm going all over the place there. 
Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I'm gonna have to get this one to bed. Guys. No more bed. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you already haven't, and if you have, thank you very much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Two no's, yes, no no's. <laughs> <laughs>